Hey everybody, Dave here with a quick tip and quick video for you. If you've ever used an application in Power Apps and specifically within the make.powerapps.com experience and or if you have used my convert phone app to tablet utility, you may have noticed that there is a database icon that's missing over here on this side of the screen. So if you notice over here, there's no way to get the data sources. Now I did mention this in the other video that said, hey, listen, if uh, you wanna go ahead and see it, just come over here to view and click on data sources. Well, some of you have emailed me and said, you know, Dave, I really don't like to do that. I just want it to work. Or I've seen other comments come in from many customers saying, hey, listen, this data icon is missing, what's going on? And so either they've used a conversion utility or they've done some fiddling in the code. And I don't know, there's a plethora of reasons as to how this could happen, but let me show you how to fix it as of the date of this recording. Microsoft is constantly changing features and as a result, there's like a break fix thing that goes on. Hence is the, uh, the life of continuous integration and continuous software delivery. So to turn this can or this database data source icon back on, what you need to do is come over here to settings. And the first thing that you need to do is under the general tab, if you scroll down and they've got some really bad, bad verbiage. So finding your way out of this thing can be really bad. So this is some bizarre stuff. It says improve data source experience and Microsoft Dataverse views. And it says enable the new data source selection feature for Microsoft, blah, 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 blah. So if we turn this on, this is where things start to fall apart. So here's the key. They answer smacking you dead in front of the face. And sometimes people don't read this. I don't know why, but it's the biggest thing on the screen. It says use column display names. And it basically says turn it on. But this is where people get hung up, right? They start reading the bulk of the, you know, the error message. And Microsoft has a typo here. I believe it's a typo. And it says this feature switch has been replaced by the improve data source experience, blah, 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 right? And so notice what's in the quotes. And then it says, note that this feature switch must first be turned on before you can enable the improved data source, whatever switch. So it's telling you to turn on the very thing that you're trying to turn on. But that's, and this is where people get hung up. It's not that, just go turn on this use column display names. And this is over here under the upcoming features, it's in the preview. And if you scroll down, you should find use column display names. If you turn this on first, and then here's the pr other problem. You turned it on, right? And now you go searching for it. You can't find it. So if we say use column, right? It's nowhere to be found. You turned it on, but it just, when you toggled it, it just completely disappeared from the manifest, completely disappeared from the list. And so this is why people are getting so hung up and, and just literally going bonkers. So find it, turn it on, knowing and accepting that it's just going to disappear and then come over here to improve data source experience. And now you can actually toggle this on. As soon as I do watch the left side over here and here we go, we're gonna turn it on, boom, now we've got the data can or the data icon for the data sources. And now you can click this and you can get to the data sources and you no longer have to come under view and hit data sources, okay? So that's how you fix this, guys. Hope this was a helpful video. That's it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, bye-bye.